Hey guys, so today we are going to use the scroll view. There are instances where in the window of your phone is not enough to accommodate text. And so you use a scroll view, right? So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to add scroll view. So let's click this library here and then let's just select scroll view. And then I would like you to drag it here and then I would like you to fill up the entire phone. Uh, take note that we are going to use iPhone 11 here and then make sure that it will be viewed as iPhone 11 as well. Okay, so now after we put the scroll view, let's click the constraint. So let's click here. And then let's add new constraints. So it's 0, 0, 0, 0 and let's click this lines here and then click add for constraints. You will notice that there will be red in the borders, but don't worry about it, it will be gone later on, okay? Now, um, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to add the stack view. So let's click this library and then select stack view, and then we are going to select vertical stack view. Then let's place it here, and then let's spread it across the phone screen and then let's click stack view make sure that stack view is selected now i will be pressing control key on my keyboard and then i am going to drag it on the content layout guide and then i am going to let go of the mouse and now i am going to select this four options here i'm going to press the shift key on my keyboard and then i'm going to click this one click this one click this one and click the last one Okay, and then now when I click the constraints here, you will notice that the stack view leading and other options will be displayed. So we would like everything to be like the constant will be zero. So the stack view dot trailing, if you will notice the constant is 414, we are going to make that zero. Uh, and then the stack view dot bottom, the constant is uh, 890. 896 we're going to make that a zero as well so there you go so everything is zero so now let's click the stack view again and then select the control key and this time we are going to drag it in the frame layout guide i'm going to i'm going to press the control key while i'm dragging it in frame layout guide and then let go and then select equal widths and then there you go okay so now let's put a view on our phone. So let's click the library and then type view and then select view. And then I'm going to drag it here. And then you will notice that it automatically sticks on the phone, right? Now let's add constraints. Let's click here. And then let's make the height probably 1,200 and then click add one constraint. And then you will notice that there is like constraints of 1,200. You will be able to notice that our phone screen has been increased. Now, let's add another uh, object in our phone. Let's click the library and then let's type label. And then let's click this one and then drag it here. And then I would like you to change the label. And then let's type random text okay and then let's make the font 26 and then let's click here and then there is our title for our random text now let's add another label and then drag it there and then drag it a little bit lower and then let's put the random text here i'm going to copy this and then i am going to paste it here and then i'm going to make the line zero so that it will have a multiple lines and then press the return key and then i will move this a little bit higher there and there it is okay now if i would like to change the background of the view i'll just click the view and then the background will be probably a light color let's choose custom and then let's select a light color let's choose a, a mercury okay now let's try to run it and then there is our scroll view. 